Hi guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about multi-dimensional array with the object-oriented PHP and a scripting way also. So first of all, guys, uh, what is a multi-dimensional array? So multi-dimensional array have a many dimensions. Like uh, if we are uh, talking in a tabular way, then the multi-dimensional have row as well as columns. Okay, in multi, uh, in a simple array, we have just a uh, one dimension and single array, and in PHP, multi-dimensional have a uh, array that contain many sub arrays. So let's see the syntax of this. Like array, and then we have. This is a this is a basic structure of multi-dimensional array, and let's get started with the implementation, guys. Uh, we need a array variable, and this is our main array, and here I have. Uh, inside array, array inside array, like when some values are here, these are the values. This is the uh, one dimension, and now I'm going to put here multi dimension, like have a comma z, uh, anything as a uh, for example, we can take anything randomly. Fine, guys. So, this is a multi dimensional array, and if you want to put one more row here, you can put simply here like Just some, just uh, another type of symbol in every array so you can understand it better. So now how we can print it? Let's see. We need an echo, an array name, and okay, guys. Uh, I think you have to know that array always start with the zero. So this is the zero dimension, and first dimension, and the second dimension. So that you want to print a uh, this value first value first array so you have to put here zero this is for dimension and another for zero this is for position so we have a zero dimensional array uh, i mean a zeroth dimension of array and a zeroth position so let's check the output here uh, okay, so we have to solve this error first of all. Uh, line number four. Yes, we cannot put here a uh, semicolon. We have to put here just comma. And let's check. Oops, one more. Line number seven. So. Yes, we are not putting here semicolon uh, after closing the main array. Yes, this is the first array. Like if you want to uh, show the fourth one, then put it a one. Yes, if you want to show like D, then you have to put here first dimension and second value uh, i mean third value uh, this is the second position number two position yes this is a d if you want to in this then uh, number two dimension and you want to this symbol then put it here zero uh, exclamatory sign 
yes this is the ith condition oh guys yeah, this is easy net let uh, if you want to uh, print it with the all multi dimensional array uh, at the same same time then you can print put here for loop and this is start with the zero dollar i less than uh, count dollar array uh, count will you will give the length of array so in the main array we have just three values one two and three so it will it will return three so dollar i plus plus this is for increment fine guys and here we need one more for loop uh, this is used for uh, uh, first array this will give you the elements of upper array I and mean main array means this and another uh, the internal for loop will give you the internal value of internal array I mean sub arrays okay so start with dollar j this is also start with zero and dollar i less than count dollar array and we have to put here dollar i because uh, i will be uh, in first repeat i will give the number of this array then this and then uh, last one and here dollar j should be plus plus here and we have to echo dollar array dollar i dollar z and let's see the output are we going right okay so we have an error in line number 20 or 12 so let's check it out first of all what problem we are uh, what problem we have problem is here let's check once again yes we got an another issue so we have to put here j dollar j less than yes now just put a br tag here for better understanding uh, br tag used for line break yes guys you can see here the whole values if, if, uh, if you bring just one more line array number dollar i values of array number let's see guys okay so we can put it here yes the values of uh, okay so we have to put a br tag here also this is this will be more more clear and see the values of first array 1 4 7 8 4 9 0 this belong to this one and next value belong to this one and last one belong to this one you can cross check here okay guys uh, so this is the uh, script way now just make it with the object oriented way and we have a function array font put the whole code here okay so make t1 equal to new test this is the object of test1 
okay now call this function p1 uh, array function and i am going to cut it code here see and just do it yes there's the same output and we can print here echo h1 object oriented way so Printed way. Okay, guys, thanks for watching our video. And if you still have any issue with our code, then uh, if you still have you have uh, still any issue with our code or uh, you don't understand and have any confusion, and let me comment us, and I will definitely solve your problem. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And please subscribe our channel for more uh, logical videos. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.